Why do I sign myself up for this? I, 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 oh my God. Can't do it, can't use it. We're not gonna use undo for this. So guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing another art challenge and this one is gonna be painting without using undo. Now in my last video, a lot of you guys were like, oh, this is way too easy for you, man. You gotta try something new. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to paint without undo today. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous because undo has become such a big habit for myself and a lot of other digital artists. It's just like, you know, anytime you make a stroke that you don't really like, you just command Z and boom, it's gone, you know? But today we're gonna try to go without it. We're gonna try to use the actual eraser. And uh, if you look at my keyboard here, I've actually very badly taped the Z key so that I don't accidentally use it during this process. Yeah, it should be exciting. I'm I'm excited. Okay, so anyways, we'll see if we can do this. I pulled up a reference photo that I got from Pinterest and we're gonna try to paint this without using any undo. We're not gonna go as far as to say no undos and no erasers and no layers because that's gonna be a little bit crazy. Maybe we can do that in the future. All right, let's go. Man, three strokes in and I'm already <laughs> going for the undo button. I keep having to hold myself back from pressing that button. You know, like, it, it's crazy. Like I don't, I don't realize how much I actually use this when I'm painting. It's like when I, now that you take it away, I'm like, oh my god! Like every, every five seconds, I'm reaching for that button. button is really tempting me it's it's just, we're not going to use undo for this this is going to be an accomplishment in the sketching process it's fine because you're just laying down lines you can just erase them but i think in the painting process when you put down a brush stroke and it doesn't look good you you can't just erase it Man, especially with the texture like the airbrush, like I can't just erase back into it because it's such a specific soft kind of gradient. You know what, this is, while this is difficult, I, I've noticed that, uh, at least in painting the background, this is a very simple plain background. I've been just adding a little bit of texture to it. I've been noticing that I've had some little mistakes that I that I made, but it was on the same layer, so I couldn't correct it with the undo button, and I obviously couldn't erase it. So it left in some like nice little happy accidents, I think. And it's kind of interesting because it forces you to, when you put down a brush stroke and you're like, oh, that's not what I wanted. It forces you to a little bit, kind of like go in there and try to make it what you wanted, I guess. If you know what I mean, kind of like you have to work with what you got. <laughs> you know, you put down a brush stroke, all right, you, no. Now it's there, you gotta work with what you got. It's kind of cool. Okay, so now we're moving on to the character. See, like my, my hand just kind of instinctually reaches for that button sometimes. This is why I put this piece of tape here so that when I go for it, I'm like, ooh. Because if I didn't put it there, I feel like I might have pressed it accidentally already. challenge ideas for me in the comments.
hoping that I won't make any like really big mistakes on the face that I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be able to fix. That would be catastrophic. This piece is giving me a little bit of uh, Ilya Kushinov vibes, but I think it's just because the girl's Japanese and has a bob cut. I mean, you know, so far I think it's it's turning out pretty good actually. Um, for like the the process is extremely uncomfortable for me because it's like I keep trying to reach for this button. I keep wanting to use this button, but I can't. Um, but you know, for having such an uncomfortable process, I think it's it's turning out pretty good for what it is. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not just using a ton of different layers and just putting everything on separate layers so that I don't have to worry about destroying my previous painting, well, the thing is I'm trying to paint like the way I would normally paint, but just without undos. Um, I don't want to like completely change the way that I organize my files and like my entire workflow just to accommodate for this one change. But I want to, you know, paint in the normal way that I paint, but just take this one element out. I do find myself being a lot more precise with my brush strokes because, you know, obviously I know I can't just take it back. So I'm not as like loose as I normally am.
Okay, so I've been doing this for about an hour now, and I don't know how to say this, but painting in this way without using undo feels almost less free, but more free. Um, I, how? I don't know how to explain this. It's like, normally when I'm painting, my brush strokes are very loose because I know I can just take it back if I don't like it. So I'm just, I just put it down and I take it back, put it down, take it back, put it down and then take it back and then just keep doing it until it's right. But now when I'm, you know, when I don't have the luxury of being able to take that brush stroke back. So now I'm finding myself like painting a little bit more uh, reserved. I'm a lot more careful with my brush strokes, but at the same time, I'm still making mistakes in my art. You know, I'm still putting down strokes and I'm like, ooh, I wish I could take that back, but now I can't really take it back, so I gotta work with what I have. And I think like by doing this, like it's creating a lot more like happy little accidents that you see in your work. I feel like um, there's something that kind of gets lost when you have the ability to just take anything back that you think didn't look correct. And um, I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, one hour and 24 minutes later, here is the final result. I am, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, the The process of doing this was really interesting because I've, I kept finding myself reaching back for this uh, undo key and it was always in the back of my head. I, was, I kept thinking, oh, like every single brushstroke I put down, I was like, oh my God, I can't take this back. I can't take this back. This is it, you know, like, um, so that was an interesting process. I don't know, I feel like I did learn quite a bit from doing this because as digital artists, like the undo button really gives you so much freedom in terms of putting things down and just being able to take it back. And it's so forgiving that sometimes we make a mistake and we don't really leave it in there. You know, like we almost never leave it in there because you have the option of just pressing two buttons and taking it away. And I think that is, it's good, but it's also like not the best thing because I find uh, when I was painting this, my process was, I was making a lot of mistakes. I was making a lot of small mistakes. There were a lot of things that were happening that I didn't want to happen, but I, once I put the stroke down, I couldn't just take it back. So I had to work with what I got. And I think that brings back a lot of memories of doing traditional art because when you put down a brush stroke on your canvas, you can't just undo that and take it back. You know, you have to work with what you got. And that's kind of like the same thing here. It's like all of these art challenges are just, mimicking traditional art. <laughs> I think this was really fun actually. I'm gonna try to use the undo button a little bit less in my normal workflow because I think doing this, it creates a lot of like nice, happy little accidents in places that you really wouldn't expect. You know, like the textures in the background, some of the textures on the clothing. I think this would have turned out really different if I were to be able to use the undo button. Um, I'm not sure if it would be for better or worse, but I just know that like the painting would not look the same way that it does right now. If you guys wanna give this a try, it is a lot of, it's really uncomfortable, but it is a lot of fun. So um, yeah, no, it, it's it, this was a great challenge. Uh, th so thank you to everybody who suggested this to me on Instagram and on, um, on our YouTube channel comments. If you guys have more challenges like this that you want to see me try, feel free to leave them in the comments below, but you know, hopefully nothing too crazy like paint with your face or something. Anyways, there it is guys. This was really fun to make. Thank you guys for uh, showing up, for watching this video. If you stay till the end, you are awesome. 
Um, and if you're new here to this channel, feel free to subscribe uh, because I do more digital art content just like this. That's it for our no undo challenge. I might do more of these in the future, actually. This was a lot of fun. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video.